Hey mama, in today's video, I'm breaking down five primitive reflexes that you are likely to encounter with your newborn baby coming up. Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, my name's Nicole. I'm a mama to two beautiful kiddos. I'm an intentional parenting coach. I'm a pediatric occupational therapist, as well as a certified lactation counselor. This channel is geared to help make motherhood easier on you by sharing tips, tricks, strategies, all the rest. So if that sounds like something you're into, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below. So I'm often asked by parents, what are primitive reflexes and what should I expect or what should I look for with these primitive reflexes? So first let's start with what are primitive reflexes? They are involuntary motions or movements that you will see in your newborn baby. Now these reflexes will eventually integrate, meaning that you won't see them past certain points and most reflexes will disappear at different points in your baby's life. So let's discuss five of these reflexes that you're likely to see, the first of which is the rooting reflex. Now, the rooting reflex is stimulated by stroking the corner of your baby's mouth and moving in an outward motion towards his or her cheek. And the response you'll see is that your baby's actually going to turn his or her head toward the stimulus. Now, this is a perfect reflex because it's going to help your baby find the bottle or the breast, which is necessary for survival. And you'll notice that the rooting reflex lasts for about four months or so. All right, so the next reflex we're going to cover is the Moro reflex. And this is oftentimes referred to as the startle reflex. And it can be so difficult for parents because a lot of babies wake themselves up with this reflex. So the moral reflex, as I just mentioned, is the startle reflex, and this can be triggered by sound or a sense as though your baby is falling. And what it looks like, you're probably familiar with it, is your baby's going to throw his or her head back, the arms are going to extend out, and then come in towards the chest, and oftentimes your little one will cry. So thankfully, the moral reflex only sticks around for a couple of months or so. In the meantime, you can use swaddling as a tool to help decrease the amount of times your your little one is startled or awakened by either a loud sound in the environment or feeling as if he or she is falling. Okay, so next up, I want to chat about the grasp reflex. I hate to burst your bubble here. A lot of parents confuse the grasp reflex with just an adoration from their baby and wanting to hold mama or papa's hand. But truly, if you place an object in the center of your baby's palm, they will reflexively grasp on to that object. So whether that's a finger, a toy, whatever it is, your baby's likely to grasp onto it. Now this reflex sticks around a little bit longer. You'll probably see it for about five to six months. Okay, so the next reflex is called the asymmetric tonic neck reflex, also known as ATNR for short. What does it look like? It looks like a fencing position, so it's often referred to as the fencing reflex. So what that means is when your baby's head is turned to either side, one arm is going to go out into extension where your kiddo's looking, and the other arm is going to be bent into flexion like so. So if you were to turn your baby's head this way, this arm's going to go out and this arm is going to go back. Now this reflex lasts for about six months or so. A quick tip with this reflex, while it is around, I like to use it to help my baby get dressed. So if an arm is stuck in a sleeve, I will turn my baby's head to one side and the arm that goes out into extension is going to shoot through the sleeve of your baby's onesie. So just a quick tip to help you out with that one. Last but not least is the stepping reflex or the dancing reflex. So this is elicited by holding your baby upright and placing their feet on a firm surface. And what happens is your baby is going to either take a step or steps and it looks like your baby's dancing or walking. So it's called the stepping reflex. Now this reflex will probably integrate around the two or three month mark. So having this basic information about primitive reflexes can be really helpful for parents because if your baby is to retain any of these primitive reflexes for longer than is normal, it can prevent them from reaching certain developmental milestones. And of course, if you ever have any questions or concerns about your kiddo's development, you should reach out to your kiddo's pediatrician or medical team to get additional support and guidance. All right, you guys, I hope you found this video helpful. 
As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.